my question. Yes. I had a question for both Dr. Gallen and Commissioner Diaz, who unfortunately chose not to attend. That's right. Um, I noticed that the new standards do not mention Cuba and have very brief mentions of Haiti and the other Caribbean countries. Given that Florida did not become a state until 1845 and the population of this county consists almost exclusively of immigrants and descendants of people that immigrated to this county after the end of the Civil War, some from other parts of the U.S., many, most, from other countries in the Americas, is there room under the new standards for teachers in the third largest school district in this country to teach the African American history of the American places from which the families of most of the students immigrated. Thank you. Dr. Gallup. Uh, the, the short answer is yes, uh, and I will be disingenuous once again, and anybody who knows me knows that's not me. There are some, there's some good content in those standards. So I don't want anybody to walk out of here and say, you know, the standards need to be flushed down the toilet. There are some elements that are inaccurate. There are some elements that are offensive. But to throw out the baby with the bathwater in a narrative that will suggest that all of it is bad will be disingenuous. So I can't be that. So to answer your question, yes, because there is an opportunity for connectivity with respect to some of the curriculum elements that talk about the Middle Passage. Remember, blacks left Africa, but all of us didn't make it here. <laughs> so some, we were snatched, left, snatched, we traveled the Middle Passage, but some, all of us didn't make it here. So that's why you look at different islands. So there's an opportunity for that to be taught. And I would be remiss if I didn't qualify your initial statement. When I reference the Moms for Liberty and I reference the Proud Boys, I stand on that. Yeah, but what I'm saying about that, the context of that is, we heard from them. Yeah. Whatever they were saying, we heard them. What I'm saying is, they're in a democracy, is not one size fits all. Right. So we need to hear all sides of a discourse. And during that particular time, there was limited discussion from a silent majority that doesn't believe one parent should be able to remove a book from a school by Amanda Gorman, in which you cite the title was written by Oprah Winfrey. But if we don't speak on that, and we don't hear from others who don't support that, then the loudest people in the room will move the needle, and that's what happened.